Abimbola. Guys, see this is my voice. This is a struggle video. Struggle video because I'm just coming off of set. It's 2 a.m. But you're my people. So we're gonna make it happen. Let's quickly sing a song. Abimbola, pepe, ring, pe. Hey, pepe, ring, pe. Sugar, sugar, hey, sugar, sugar. All my sweetie, sweeties. You guys. Hi guys, what's up? So this video is gonna be a mashup of a bunch of things that have been weighing heavy and a bunch of things that have happened throughout this week that I have seen, I have thought about, but I have not expressed. So let go. First thing, Big Brother Ninja, the reunion. Nanu said I will speak my mind. Anybody we know like him, Hulk Transformer. I don't really get what's going on. To be honest with you, I feel like there were a lot of things that have been said on this reunion that the world didn't need to know. Um, I feel like a lot of people felt like they didn't express or show who they were when they were in the house and all of a sudden felt the need to try and prove a point that nobody asked them to do. That being said, I would first of all address the elephant in the room. I think the entire confrontation that happened, and I say confrontation because it wasn't one-sided, between V and Tolani was very blur. Blur because for once I was happy that people saw people for who they were. Um, for the longest time, I've always heard people, clubhouse, wherever it is, when people have conversations about V, it's always, she's so spiteful, she's so this, she's so that. And when I tell them I have nothing against her, oh yes, you guys are similar. Ah, Jeremy, am I a winch? Is she a winch? Why not winches? But you see, people like, and I'm not trying to say we're very similar. I have mad respect for her because like I said before, and I've said consistently, I like consistent people. I mean, I mean like, I mean I respect consistent people. I like when, when you show me your hand, your hand, you constantly show me throughout. I don't like people that do like this. Because that way it means I know how to navigate around you. I know how to handle myself around you. V has always been consistent. Something that we do have in similarity is the fact that we're not for everybody. And for some people, that's a very bitter pill to swallow. Some people are not okay with the fact that not everybody is going to like them. Not everybody is their cup of tea or they are not everybody's cup of tea. And it takes someone who is very, very self-aware to the core to be able to accept that not everybody is going to like you but still be able to live your authentic self. V did that in the house. Tolani, Tolani didn't. Which is why when she showed her true self. The desperation was saying, don't have. It's there, my dear. Are you mad that you're blocked? Or you're blocked? trying to cause a scene? Because who the are you? Excuse me, she's Who the are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? This is a you ever like Which is what you saw on camera in this reunion. Let's nobody get things twisted. I don't know any of them personally, so this is my opinion. Don't take it to the bank. It will not get you a house. You cannot use it to buy rice in the market. If you want to argue, the comment section is there for you. Back to what I'm saying. Um, but as far as I was concerned, what an initial was her true self. And it was just very unflattering. There was no need for it. I think where it really got me just really very just confused was the fact that you could see that V was genuinely hurt. I was trying to address that, but Miss Bad Bitch wasn't looking at it. She wasn't hearing it. She wasn't having it. And all that huffing and puffing was just so very unnecessary. Um, I'll keep it a hundred. Um, Dorothy's my girl and um, you know, I felt the whole informing us of the intimacy between us up on Bright O, oh, I felt that wasn't necessary. I did feel like she felt like she was in a corner because if she wasn't going to speak about it, somebody on there was going to talk about it. And it's one of those situations where, listen, before you put my ash out there, let me put it myself. So I get it. I also believe that sometimes no face, no case. There was just no need to have spoken about it, especially the amount of time she emphasized on it. I would have handled it differently, but I'm not her. Katrina got a lot of screen time. 
I could not and I still cannot understand why. But listen, shout out to her, man. She paid her dues. My girl brought energy, she brought action, she brought gist. Well, Tony, mm, that's how I felt. Shout out to my girl Nengi, man. My girl Nengi, and when I say my girl, it doesn't mean I know these people personally, I'm rooting for them. I'm just, you know, it's, it's yarn, it's conversation. Um, but shout out to Nengi, man. That composure throughout A class. Also, you guys already know how I feel about Ozo, man. Praise, there was no need for shouting. Um, I think T-Batch coming for my boy, Neo, my worry brother. Very unnecessary. But I know say my brother no will keep quiet. Say they check him, baby, go quiet. Who you be? They born you for where? You guys put him out inside the matter now. Cause they talk you a man, stay out of women's matters. Hey that one jerry. You know go they drag in gear. You go they sit down there. Now man he be. He go respond. Go ahead, boy. Right on. That's how I trained you. Um in terms of kid, I don't know what my boy was doing, but we're gonna be okay. I cannot wait for next week, cause next week, Miss Erica gonna be with them. I cannot wait to see what unravels. Maybe I'ma come back and I'll give you guys my two cents on that. So that's that about that. I want to talk about two things that I've learned recently. I mean, I've always known about it, but some people will say that, oh, no experience, you can't talk about it, but I disagree. And you guys know, this is me giving you a wrap up of what has happened this entire week. One thing that I know this week that I said I was gonna share with you guys for my ladies is this. Um, I think a lot of ladies need to have realistic expectations when it comes to relationships but I also think that a lot of ladies should not compare their husbands, their boyfriends, whoever they're dating to their dad. It's nice to see certain qualities or to want certain qualities that you admire in your dad, in your future partner or in your partner but I think it's a very unfair comparison. Because if he was to compare you to his mother and hold you in such standards, you would drop. So I think vice versa, when the shoe's on the other foot, we should tend to be a bit cautious about that. Um, I would also say that there are a lot of people who are getting into relationships right now who are not mentally, sorry my phone is down here, so I keep looking at it, who are not mentally, physically, emotionally ready for it. And if you're not ready for a relationship, don't go into it. There's so much pressure around right now, and it's so easy to give in. But don't do it, sis. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of commitment. Nobody should have to convince you to date them or vice versa. Last but not the least, you are not God. So you cannot change a man. Now when I say man, I mean both sexes. Don't ever enter a relationship thinking you can change someone. You can try and influence the way in which they think. You can try and influence them by your acts and your actions and how you live your life. But ultimately, if they choose not to be influenced, then they're not influenced. But to think that you would date a man or woman and change them. Ah, oh, sweetie, bros. You can't, so stop it. Don't do it. Somebody asked me um, early last week, you know, close your eyes and visualize your future. What do you see? And so I'm going to put that question to you guys before I end this. Close your eyes and visualize your future. What do you see? When I close my eyes and I visualize my future, it's scary. It's scary for me because I don't know why I have such big dreams. And I'm one, and I've said this on this platform before, I don't express my thoughts for myself to anybody. I keep it in. And I think because I keep it in, I automatically know that God is omnipresent. Oh. Because I keep it in, I automatically know that God is omnipresent, right? So I feel like because he's in my mind, he hears my thoughts, he sees my heart. He knows what it is that I want for myself. But I'm learning to realize that that is not enough. Sometimes I need to be vocal when I speak to my Heavenly Father. And sometimes I need to be vocal when I speak about myself and my future. So I'm going to give you guys a few things of when I close my eyes, what I visualize. When I close my eyes, what I visualize is a very happy content person. Content in every aspect to which I have control over. When I close my eyes, what I visualize is a young lady who would do exploits. 
I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's in every aspect of my life. Married with kids who are thriving to a husband who is thriving, who is my friend, who sees me, who wants good for me. With kids that by the grace of God I'm raising right. And I'm starting with that so people understand. You don't have to be. If that's not what you visualize for your future, then that's fine. That is what I visualize for my future. I close my eyes and I see myself with a multinational production company doing exploits, conquering Nollywood, conquering Hollywood. I close the same eyes and I see myself running an established law firm that is doing okay. I close the same eyes and I visualize myself happy with my friends, happy with my family around me, happy that my mother is in good health, that my family, my brother, my sister, my and their significant others are doing well. I close my eyes and I visualize Abimola Craig as someone who's impacting lives. But if I'm going to be summing up everything that I visualize for myself when I close my eyes, it's happiness and contentment. So I would ask you to close your eyes, visualize your future, and tell me about it. But what I would say is this, no pressure, guys. God has it all in control. I know how much pressure I put on myself in the last one year that has yielded nothing. The constant fear, am I enough? Am I doing enough? How better can I be? The constant struggle to prove myself to who nobody but myself. The constant struggle to best or our best my last performance. But I'm also at a point where now I'm trying to let go. Trying to let go and let God. To realize that, listen, some things I cannot do. And some things I cannot and should not try to do. So breathe, guys. God has us in control. Have a great week. And I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Toodaloos. Shout out to Tasala HQ for my mini twist. This is what is taking me throughout sex. And I'm thankful. Shout out to Beauty and the Beholder for the face beats. Stay safe, guys. Stay happy, stay positive, find your why, and fight for it. Kisses, hugs, bye.